Next up, totally optional, like most of this section just has to do with committing. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make a commit using a GUI, like Git Kraken. And uh, even if you're not interested in, in using a GUI, I still think you know it's worth checking out because these GUIs can help show you your commits. Uh, they help you visualize things. But also, it's nice to know that you know there are different ways of interacting with Git. And at the end of the day, we're still just working with that .git folder. It's just a different interface, a different way of interacting with it. So I'm using Git Kraken. I had a whole video on this early on where I talked about how to install it. It's very simple. You download it for free. And that's kind of it. Uh, and I'm just going to open up this repo that we've been working in, my first novel. So if you have any repo you've created by now, whether it's from an exercise or you're following along, you have your own novel, whatever it is, we can open it with Git Kraken. So here's Git Kraken. I'm going to go to open a new repository. So if you open it up for the first time, it will probably look like this. It will ask you to open a repository. And then here is that folder I navigated to. I'm sorry, I can't zoom in easily, but I just found my repository. So that same folder, my first novel, and I'm going to open it. And there we are. We see my commit history right here. So right now we're just visualizing the commits. This is basically what we see with a Git log. Unfortunately, it's not letting me zoom in much more either, but I hope you can see that. So we have our first one, start work on outline and main characters, all the way up to remove extra blank lines in chapter two. But what I want to show you is how we make a new commit. So right now, our working tree is clean. I haven't made any changes uh, at this point. I haven't diverged from what, from what Git has committed, as you can see. But let's make some changes. What should we do? I'm going to add some more to the characters file. So I just added some information about Myrtle Wilson. And here's some more information about George Wilson, two characters in The Great Gatsby uh, that come up in chapter two. All right, so I'm going to save that. And I'll also, how about I add something to our mood board? So I have these images in here. Let's add another image. Okay, so I downloaded two more images, one of alcohol and one of a billboard, thematically related in some way to The Great Gatsby. They're part of my mood board um, and both also licensed for me to use. So I'm going to add those both into this mood board folder. Okay, so I've made a couple of changes, and obviously, well, I shouldn't say obviously, but hopefully uh, you're aware that I could check to see, you know, my status by using get status, and I would see that we modified characters.txt, and that there are two new files in Moodboard, which are not being tracked. But this video is about using the GUI. If we take a look at the GUI, I get this message that says three file changes in working directory. So I can click here to view those file changes or I can just click here where it says work in progress. And I wish I could make this larger, but what we see is unstaged files, characters.txt, and then moodboard bar and moodboard billboard, the two images. And you'll see that there's a little icon here with a pencil. That means I, I modified or edited that file. And here, this little plus sign means it's a new file. So I wanna make a commit first, how about just with the characters changes? So I want to stage characters, so I'm going to click stage, okay? So at this point, I have staged that one file, and actually if I type get status over here, what do we see? Changes to be committed, characters.txt. So it was the same exact thing as me typing git add characters, but instead I clicked stage. And then I'm going to make my commit. So this first commit is just characters, so I add my commit message right there, or I can type it over here. Uh, and my message will be something like uh, add Wilson's, Wilson's to characters list. Okay? Or, yeah, that's fine. Add the Wilson's, maybe the Wilson's. So I added two of them. All right. And then I'll commit changes to that one file. And we see a new commit here add the Wilson's to character list. And if I type get status, we now made a commit. We don't have this characters.txt staged anymore. And if I type get log, there it is. Add the Wilsons to characters list. So let's do a second commit now with the mood board changes. So I'm going to stage that new bar image and the billboard image. And then I group them together by staging them. And I'll make my commit, you know, I don't know, add, uh, more, how about expand, add two images, 
to mood board or something like that. Nothing amazing. Uh, but here's where I write that commit message and here's where I commit. Before I do that, what do you expect me to see when I type git status? This is what we typed or what we saw before two untracked files, but now they're both going to be committed. They are both staged because I clicked the stage button. So same process, just a different interface. I made changes. Then I click to stage and I click to commit, or I use git add to stage and git commit to commit. Alrighty, so I'm gonna click commit changes to two files. And there we are, we have a new commit show up. And if I do git log, let's do our one line. There it is, add two images to mood board, add the Wilsons to character list. So that's just a quick intro to using a tool like Git Kraken. Of course, the interface changes if you're using a different app like uh, Source Tree or uh, what else is there? Sit, what Tower, Git Tower. There's a couple of them, I can't remember. They all are similar though. You click to stage and then you click to commit. You type a message in. Um, and this is just a nice educational tool, honestly, especially when we get to branching uh, and merging, the, the diagrams over here are really helpful. But at this point, it's just another way of doing what we already know how to do.